guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna start off by showing you guys the 3503 fierce by nature palette by morphe so this is what the inside of this palette looks like sorry i had to blow on it because i had already touched the colors this is what the palette looks like it's so pretty you guys uh, there's just one shade that is my least favorite on this palette and i will show you guys why and which one it is in just a second So first I'm going to be going in with this shade and it's called Major Hottie. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do a review on this palette. And I also purchased the lip glosses so you guys know um, I will be using one of them in this video. So if you guys want to see a review on both of them together, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that for you guys. So I'm going to be going in with the shade Major Hottie and I'm going to be going in with this blending brush right here. And we're going to be applying this all over our crease. Do not go below or above that crease. So this is my first time actually applying this product onto my eyelids. So I can tell you guys that this eyeshadow color specifically did not give me fallout at all. So I did not need to use my little fan brush for this. Also, it's blending very well and it's really, really smooth. So yeah, this shade is 100% Emily approved. Yay! The next shade that I'm going to be using is called Domination. It's this one right here and it is a darker shade of brown, like a chocolate brown. So this color, you guys, usually the majority of colors that are dark get chalky and, and they're not smooth. They're not applied smoothly. Like they start to get all patchy and there's some spots that have some product and some don't. It gets all ugly. Well, let me tell you that this color blended out so nice. As you guys can see, it's very smooth and it's, it's cooperating with my brush. Exactly where I'm applying it, that's where it's staying. And I didn't even have to get a lot of products. So this is also Emily approved. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with this darker brown. It's called Smolder. And at first, I honestly thought that this shade was going to be making a mess. Let me just say that even if this is dark and it looks like it can be chalky and messy, it did not give me any fallout. It went on there smoothly. The texture was so nice. So this color is also Emily approved. So let me just tell you guys that these eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. Based on the ones that I already used on this video, they're so high in pigment that I had to build up the intensity of the color little by little by applying small amounts with my brush. So I recommend you guys to slowly build up that shade depending on how dark you want it to go because these are so high in pigment that, you know, you might want to be careful or you're going to make a mess. Next, I'm going in with this shade right here. It's called Make Believe. Now, I'm moving it around like this so that you guys can see how it, how much it shimmers. Let me tell you guys, I was so excited to try on this shade, but I was sadly disappointed. Yes, I was disappointed. This is not Emily approved. It was very chunky and, and weird. The texture, I just didn't like it. It was I was getting a lot of fallout with this shade. I was so disappointed. Uh, I did have to wet my brush with the setting spray. The only reason why I didn't spray it before is because I wanted you guys to see how it applied on my eye before I did that. But yes, you guys, unfortunately, I had to wet my brush for this specific eyeshadow shade. I did not like it. So yeah, guys, I sprayed this with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray or finishing spray, whatever you guys want to call it. And yeah, it started to apply a lot better when it was wet, but I was still getting like little pieces of like the glitter, like little chunky pieces. It was just, it was not my favorite shade in this palette. So yeah, guys, I recommend that when you use this shade, you apply some concealer on your lid. Like if you're doing a light cut crease or something and you wet your brush also so that it applies a lot nice, nicer, I guess. I don't know. I haven't tried this with the concealer yet, but I will in a different video just to see what happens. So yeah, that is that shade. Now let's go on to the next step. 
Next, I'm going back in with the same brush I used for the shade Domination. And I'm just going to be blending that in towards the gold, which was a little bit hard to do because the gold was patchy and weird. But anyways, after that, I'm going to be taking the brush that I used for the shade Major Hottie. And I'm just going to blend out whatever product is left over on the brush just so that we can get a smokier effect. This is what the fallout looks like up close for the shade Make Believe. So you guys can see that I'm not making this up. This actually does have a lot of fallout and it left a mess <laughs> on my under eye and on my cheeks and my nose and you know. So yeah guys, that is not my favorite shadow. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Major Hottie again and I'm going to be applying this on my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade Domination, and I'm going to be placing a small amount right on top of the shade Major Hottie. Next, I'm going to be taking a pencil brush, and I'm going to be using the shade Smolder, and we're going to carefully keep this right on our lash line, and we're going to lightly connect this to our top lid on that outer corner. Then lastly, I'm going to take the brush that I used for the shade Major Hottie and I'm just, without any product, I'm just going to gently blend that out so that all those colors mix together and we get the smoky effect that we have on our lid as well. Next, I'm going in with my Max Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild and I'm only going to be applying some light coats on my lashes, my top lashes and my bottom lashes. Now for my eyelashes, don't kill me you guys, but I do not know where these lashes are from. I bought these like about a month ago and they've lasted so long and I have no clue what they're called. I don't have the box anymore, but oh my god, these are my favorite. I will be going to California soon again, so I'll try to purchase these again because I know where I got them. I just don't remember the name. So I'll go and see if I can get these and then I'll let you guys know because they're so pretty. These were my everyday lashes for like a month straight. But I just don't remember the name. So I'm using my dual glue to apply these, by the way. Next, I'm going in with my NARS palette and I'm going to be applying some bronzer. I'm not going to apply any highlight or any blush because I want my eyeshadow to pop a lot more. So I'm going to lightly apply some bronzer. Next, I'm going in with my lip liner from Italia Deluxe and this one is in the shade Chocolate and I'm going to go ahead and lip line those lips so I can show you guys the new Morphe lip glosses.
ta-da this is what they look like this is the morphe natural born stunner five piece lip gloss collection let me tell you guys that these lip glosses are the shit sorry to say the word i mean <laughs> it is my channel so who cares i don't care you don't care we don't care anywho these lip glosses are so pretty like i said if you guys want me to do a review on all of them let me know in the comments below so i'm gonna be using the shade aw oh, yeah and this is what it looks like it's got like some orangey undertones you know brown gold orange around there i wouldn't say gold i mean like brown orange and you can't really see it this far from the camera but i'll zoom in soon so you guys can take a look at it up close but it's got some glitter on it and let me just tell you guys what i liked about this lip gloss is that it is not sticky it doesn't feel gooey like most do and it doesn't feel thick either and it doesn't smell bad either like it smells i'm actually holding it right now smelling it it smells like candy like it, it doesn't smell bad it doesn't smell like chemicals and yeah it I, I honestly i approve this this is definitely emily approved Yay! here i am zoomed in so you guys can see that it isn't sticky see i'm even moving my mouth very slowly so you guys can see it's normal it's nice it's smooth and it doesn't look thick i'm not gonna lie i actually licked it so i can taste it <laughs> and it doesn't taste bad so yeah guys this is the end of the tutorial thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more of me and click the notification button it's that little bell right on the side of the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video